we get a ridiculous amount of interest in the 22 IDX from our military from our Department of Defense and guys in that whole sector. And what is it about the 22 IDX that the military loves? Welcome back, guys. Today we got a couple more topics for you. Still looking for that final title. So if you got a good title for the, the show that has no name, I'll leave it in the comments below. But today we get a ridiculous amount of interest in the 22 IDX from our military from our Department of Defense and guys in that whole sector. And sometimes it's uh, guys like Northrop Grumman that serve the DOD. So a <laughs> or lot maybe of the actual... DOD gets served by Northrop Grumman, <laughs> am I right? Uh, <laughs> Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, um, you name it. We're, space we're, X. We're in a Space X. We are in there, not military, though. What What is it about the 22 IDX that the military loves? I know right out the gate, my first answer is the open source duet stuff, mainly because it's, our, it's already known. It's in many printers they already use. It's approved for use. It's not made in China, and they can modify it in any way they possibly want. I think it's because, check this out, government has a lot... That printer could be doing a bunch of different things. So they would rather, and I agree, is the main huge point about the 22, would you rather have one large machine that can do one thing at a time, or would you, for that same price, be able to buy five smaller machines that can do five different things yeah. at the same time? Well, technically 10 different things. Price point's well, huge for the materials that'll print, the peaks, the ultimates, the high temp stuff, at the 15K price is like... Yeah, that's a major I advantage. wonder why, because genuinely, because the government doesn't care about money. Well, there's a, there's a few Just things. Just prints more. We're an American company, and we provide USA support. That's, that's right. That's a huge one. Jay just texted me that. He's like, USA support. That's a huge Isn't reason Jay to do it. You actually call us. We actually answer the phone. We just answer the phone. But, you know, the, the way it's built, the way it's designed, it's a, it's a thick piece of metal. That's that's got all the motion system in there. It does the high temp materials. If they need it, they still do it boatload of ABS and nylons and polycarbonates, so it'll do all those with flying colors, then it'll do anything under a certain size for the high temps, peak, ult temp, PPSU, you name it. It works perfect. It prints just as well as any other machine, and if you've looked inside of a, so I'm not going to do names, these $150,000 plus machines, the amount of complexity and things that could possibly, it's the difference between Look, a top of the line, like an S class, where you can't work on anything yourself. You don't know what's uh, going on. Everything's covered with a sheet. It says "Do not touch." Yeah. Versus, if you're an engineer, you can just open the back and be like, "Oh, okay, I see what's going on here." Yeah. Like the, our, cable, the cable's loose. Like the terminal blocks, like our hot ends and other components plug into an open terminal block above the hot end. The maintenance is incredibly easy. You open the back doors, you see all the electronic components, and you get straight to the motion components, the motors, literally. Like you don't have to yeah. take the machine apart to service the machine. That is a big point. It's robust and simple, like American muscle cars. Amen, brother. Hoorah. Hell yeah, brother. That's what we should call the podcast. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Uh, Patrick was saying, you know, for getting... For, a well, Marine, by the way. Yep. Yes. Former Marine. Thank you for serving, Patrick. Thank you, thank you. And I'm My father as well. I'm from a Marine Corps family. Um, so he says, functional parts while deployed in barren areas and offshore on ships. He said functional. Uh, that's the high temp materials. That's the Ultim 9085, 1010, peak Ultim pack, PVDF. You know, you name it. The machine prints all of the materials. I think that's one of the big things. At the price point, there's no other machines on the market that print the full gamut of thermoplastics. And what, yeah. and what I think is funny is that you, there are more high-temp materials by far than there are low-temp materials. Oh, yeah. You are, oh, yeah. You are with a low-temp machine, 300C and no chamber, you are probably about 20% of the materials that exist that you can actually use. Yeah. What would be a good example? Something that's going to be uh, doused in diesel and heat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and seawater. And sea and salt for prolonged periods of time. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's Navy. Different chemical. Yeah. Air Force. Oh. They only. What, yeah. what is the Air Force's favorite material? Right? Uh, all the ones that are UL94 V0. They like. Ultimate 9085. Yeah. 
Ultimate. Call it E3 because you get a fire in that cockpit. So what doesn't happen? But you do. What does it do? The fire just goes away. It self extinguishes and no. it stops smoking. In st- oh man, dude, can I? Next should I just sleep. light? I want to burn some ninety eighty five right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to smoke this out in the studio for yet. Yeah, no. but that's the beauty. It won't. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. I want that in the final version. Do you hear that? What? It's the plug. By the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this content, we sell 3D printers, 3D scanners, and the software to run it. FDM, SLS, SLA, you name it, we got it all. And that's what supports us and lets us create content like this for you. So if you enjoy this, please leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. And if you really want to get into something for your business, give us a call, shoot us an email. We are absolutely here to help you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Seriously, subscribe. What were we talking about? Okay, military. In-field yep. operations or remote deployments. In-field operations or remote deployments, their ability to quickly prototype or repair equipment. I mean, that's the, yeah, that's the, the reason for any 3D printer, really. I think the big deal is this is a high-temp printer that it, everything is accessible to you, and if you have experience in mechanical stuff, CNC, you can take this thing apart and put it back together. Like, no problem. No problem. Without a manual. Without a manual because it's all common sense as opposed to grossly over-engineered and over There's nothing wrong with over-engineered except when you need repeatability and reliability. So it's it's simple and functional. Yeah. It just, yeah. And it's like I said, you can take it apart in the field. It's got a great price point. It doesn't compare to anything else. And it's made by... An American company, Vision Miner. If you've used 3D printers before or built one, it's not, it's, you need to know more than the slicer. But if you've worked around CNC, a machine shop, you can take that thing apart, field strip it, and put it back together with easily replaceable parts. And that's why that's the absolute. government likes it. Army, Navy, yeah. Space Force. Uh, yeah. It's built with quality components. It's built. We put our blood, sweat, and tears in that thing. Out of man. our experience. I mean, it started the V1, and then we adjusted a lot and came out the V2. And now, of course, we've refined it even further. The V3 is out. And um, What's after the V3? That's a great question. That I know the answer, but I'm not telling you. And you want to give them the answer? No. Give them the answer. It's a number higher than that. No, it starts with an S. Center it. <laughs> S-U. Sugma. S-U-B. Sub-Saharan. What the... F- what are you t- Subscribe and you'll see what's after the V3. That was not a smooth transition. <laughs> that Bang was, the gong. That was awesome. Bang the gong. <laughs> if you're interested in 3D printers, whether that be FDM, SLS, or SLA liquid photopolymer resins, or 3D scanners for reverse engineering, metrology grade inspection with blue lasers and infrared and all that jazz, and the software to run it, we are a one-stop shop that's here to actually consult you and figure out if we have the right thing for your project. If we don't, we'll tell you that. Uh, and if there's something better out there that actually just worked better for you, we'll tell you that too. Um, so give us a call, shoot us an email. We are here to help. Everything but metal. We got in a 3D before it. We got 3D software, 3D scanners, 3D printers. The list goes on. The only avenue we haven't delved into is metal yet. Publicly. So Publicly. What? Um, yeah. Yeah, you remember all those spools? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant like the powder. You know what I mean. Powder. Uh, oh, powder, like titanium? Yeah. yeah haven't uh, gone we yet. need a whole new facility. And we love what we do. And I think we take great pride in actually knowing the answer. And if we don't, this is the best thing I love about us. We go, good question. I don't know. Hang on. And we'll figure it out. You know when you call a place and you get a cookie cutter answer, dude, it's so no, funny. No, you'll talk to me. you'll talk it, to me. People like sort of react Ask when they call. It's like, hey, thank you for calling Vision Miner. They're like, uh, sales. I'm like, great. Uh, printers or scanners? He's like, scanners. Cool. I can help you. Who What's up? He's like, uh, Rob, the president. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ask for me by uh, name. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Challenge me. My name's Cole. Uh, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and buy our stuff. That would be great. Have a positive rest of your day.